Hi, my name is Alex Mars. I'm an Ableton Tutor for On The Rise Academy. You're watching Dubstep Step by Step. Step 9. Creating Breakdown. Breakdowns. These are a very important part of the track. The breakdown contains a bridge roll to match or transfer your idea from the intro to the main drop. Sometimes what may occur is the intro and main drop are producing different scales. To get rid of the sharp transition and to make it sound perfect, you need a breakdown. This technique is also often used in classic DJ mixing. Breakdowns are usually a very melodic part with vocals and at the end has various effects to create a transition. In our case, there are very melodic vocals in the intro and having a similar mood in the next part would be boring. So here we have made quite a unique breakdown. Just to start new parts of the track or new bars, let's add symbols. A crash will be needed in the main drop, in the intro, and so on. Now, to make the transition from the intro to the breakdown smooth, let's add more effects to the end of the intro. Next, you need to create an uplifting effect before the main drop. To do this, on the new audio track, I copy the effect sample and then reverse it. Here's how it sounds. Now you need to add another element in the breakdown. To do this, I copy the end of the chord sample and then do the reverse. Cut the resulting sample to the desired length and insert it in the end of the breakdown. To get a high quality sound, adjust the volume curve a bit. Let's hear the whole breakdown. I think it sounds quite good. Hey! Don't forget, you can watch all the steps and download additional content to this video course for free at ontheriseacademy.com. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one online bespoke session to learn exactly what you want at the pace you are happy with. Thank you for watching and see you on the next step.